When you have a champion like this, wins gold, so proud, runs around the, the arena, has the flag, and when she was holding up that flag, she's like, this is, it's a reminder. She's our avatar. She is the representation of the United States. Every single person is represented in her and what she's doing. You can't have more common ground than that. That is a terrifying ideal to, to statists who want to divide. Do people get it yet? There is nothing more offensive to Marxism or tyranny than someone like Tamira Mensa Stock winning gold, being so proud to represent the one country on earth that does not organize itself around anything other than liberty. Status need the division. They sell division. They need people to self-segregate. They need ideal ideologies to self-segregate. Oh my gosh, it was just, yeah, um, sh just pure joy. She is forever in the dictionary, that expression that she had, pure joy. There's no, I mean, sometimes pictures can define, some, can define something better than words. Just amazing. And we were proud, we're proud to have her represent the United States. And what's more, we're proud to have somebody who wants to represent the United States. You know, if you're, if you're over there and you're, you know, turning your back to the flag and all of that stuff, that's not representative of everything that we stand for. See, that's what people don't get. I think there's some people that are being sold a false bill of goods here. They keep saying this flag doesn't represent me. This flag doesn't represent me. That's what people don't get. It does, though. Against all odds and in spite of factions in the United States historically that would say incorrectly otherwise, that flag and this country have been about nothing more than liberty. The shining beacon on the hill. That is why America is so unbelievably rare. It is, y'all, it is difficult to have so many different types of people and different worldviews and different ways that people were raised and different beliefs all under the same roof, so to speak. Heck, we're, we see what happens, you know, in the big tent Republican Party, people are slap fighting. I mean, this is even bigger than that. And we get so focused on the little squabbling and the little this and that. The big thing is this. This is why I have continued to say the fight is not between Republican and Democrat. It's between freedom and tyranny. The end. There is no other argument. There is no other way to present this. The fight is between freedom or tyranny. Pick, pick one. That's how that case has to be made to everybody. Can you imagine something like that happening in China? No, you can't. I just love, I love her story, I love her joy, and I love how representative she is. I don't, I don't know how she, I know, all I know is she's from Katy, Texas. If she loves America and she likes liberty, that's an, all I need to know. Right? That's all I need to know. I think of this when I was looking at some of the footage People in Cuba. Notice that's not in the news anymore, is it? Have you guys heard any headlines in cable news about Cuba lately? The, I mean, there's, there's still protest. There's still video coming out. Why aren't you hearing it in cable news? No, instead you got media trying to figure out how to, how to protect people like Andrew Cuomo. So they used technology from China to shut off access to the internet in Cuba. I mean, there have been protests in Colombia. Protests in, and protests continuing in Cuba. And what do people have when they go out in Cuba? In the streets of Havana, what have you been seeing? People wave the American flag because it is what? Symbol of liberty. See, the United States flag, it's not, it's, of course it's the flag of the United States and it's representative of everything our country stands for. But do you realize 
what that projects internationally. I know that leftists always care about other countries' perspectives on the United States. When you have people who have been oppressed and they're protesting and risking arrest or death and they're flying the flag, they're flying it because that flag stands for liberty. They're flying it because they know that that flag stands for a people who value freedom above all else. They fly that flag and they use it in protest uh, for freedom because they know that in America, the common ground and the unifying trait is do you want to be free, yes or no? To put it even more simply, back when I was watching Walking Dead and I stopped after Carl was killed because that's not canon and it made me mad and I quit watching. I, I stop watching stuff if it ain't canon. I get to, oh, yes, yes, I did read the comics. Thank you. I get real, because I love zombies. I'm all about, anything about zombies, I know it. And I was real mad. They always asked three questions before they would let people join Rick's crew. In the United States, we ask one, do you want to be free? Okay, come on. Ta-da. Do you want to be free? So, I mean, I... I, this, this clip and this athlete stand out to me for more reasons than just the obvious. And I wish that we saw more of her than Gwen Berry. I wish we saw more of her than bitter old Megan Rapinoe. Where's, where's, where's this athlete's? Where's Tamira Stock's sponsorships? Where's Tamira Stock's Victoria's Secret contract? Where's Tamira Stock's Nike contract or Adidas contract? Where's her? Where's her? I want to see her on my box of cereal. And she said that she wanted to get home and see her husband, see her family. Such a great story.